Deneb is a first magnitude star in the constellation of Cygnus the Swan. The brightest star in Cygnus, a 19th brightest star in the night sky, with an average apparent magnitude of plus 1.25. A blue-white supergiant, Deneb rivals Rigel as the most luminous first magnitude star. Hi everyone, Vega here, and in today's video we're returning to the original idea as to why I actually started this channel in the first place, to document the brightest stars in our skies. So, let's get to it. Deneb's distance, and hence luminosity, is poorly known. Its luminosity is somewhere between 55,000 and 196,000 times that of the Sun. Its nominal distance from the Earth is around 2,620 light years, but again, we're not totally sure as distance is derived from a variety of different methods, including spectral luminosity classes, atmospheric modelling, and stellar evolution models. An assumed member of the Cygnus OB7 Association of Celestial Bodies, Deneb can be found in a region of space which also contains the star-forming region Cygnus X, the North America Nebula and the Pelican Nebula. So where is Deneb in the sky? It's one of three stars considered part of the Summer Triangle, which includes Altair and Vega. The traditional name Deneb is derived from the Arabic word for tail, and this is where we find the star, in the tail of the Swan of Cygnus. Interestingly, Deneb never dips below the horizon at or above 45 degrees north latitude, and this means it just grazes the northern horizon at its lowest point at such locations like Minneapolis, Montreal and Turin. In the southern hemisphere, Deneb likewise is not visible south of the 45th parallel, so it just barely rises above the horizon in South Africa, southern Australia and northern New Zealand during the southern winter. A bluish-white star of spectral type A21A Deneb's surface temperature is 8,500 Kelvin. Indeed, since 1943, its spectrum has actually served as one of the stable references by which other stars are classified, and its stellar wind causes matter to be lost at a rate of 100,000 times that of the Sun, amazingly equivalent to one Earth mass every 500 years. Another point of interest about this titan of a star, due to the Earth's axial precession, Deneb will eventually replace Polaris and become an approximate pole star on planet Earth in around 9800 AD. And this is actually also quite a coincidence of sorts also, because many of you may have seen the movie The Martian, and what a great movie it was, let me say. As things stand, Deneb, because of Mars' axial tilt, is actually the closest thing Mars has to a pole star. Although at the exact north of celestial pole of Mars there is no north star per se, the position is about halfway between Deneb and the white subgiant star of Alpha Cephei or Alderamin. So can we get a rough idea of the power of such a star as Deneb? The brightest star of other than the Sun in the Earth's skies, as we probably know, is the A-class star of Sirius. It shines proudly in Canis Majoris at an apparent magnitude of minus 1.46. Sirius, though, lies just 8.6 light years away, so we wonder how close would Deneb need to be to rival Sirius? Well, the truth is quite astonishing, and it's over 100 times further away. Indeed, at a distance of 880 light years, Deneb would arrive at roughly the same brightness of minus 1.46 in our skies. And the truth is, it could actually be even further than this if the maximum estimates for Deneb's distance are indeed accurate. Deneb would become the brightest star within 1,000 light years, and outshine even the blue-white supergiant star of Rigel. During much of its early life, Deneb was an O-type main sequence star of about 23 solar masses, but since then it has left the top end of the main sequence, having exhausted its hydrogen in its core, and expanded to become a supergiant. It's thought that stars in the mass range of Deneb eventually expand to become the most luminous red supergiants of all, and after a few million years their cores then collapse, producing a huge supernova explosion. That said, however it's not currently known whether Deneb is currently evolving towards red supergiant, or indeed strangely enough, it's currently actually evolving bluewoods again, and getting hotter, which can also be an interesting quirk of this kind of star. Here we see a scene in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now we've moved Deneb much closer, and it's indeed at around 4.4 light years distance from us. At this distance, Deneb would shine at an astonishing minus 12.6 apparent magnitude, and it now equals the brightness of the moon. Any closer, and Deneb replaces the moon as the second brightest object in our skies. Looking at such a sight from Earth would be breathtaking, no doubt, but as for now, perfectly safe. I remind you that 4.4 light years is still a mind-blowingly far distance, and is approximately the distance of Alpha Centauri binary. 
You may wonder what the habitable zone of a star like Deneb would look like, and what planets could have water flow in the so-called Goldilocks zone. We know of no planets actually in Deneb's habitable zone as things stand, but it would begin at around 317 astronomical units, at the very inner limit, and stretch out an enormous 413 astronomical units to end at around 730 astronomical units, where it would finally no longer produce enough heat to keep liquid water. For reference, in this graphic we see the solar system with the Earth-Pluto's distance at 40 astronomical units, and quickly imagine that anything within our solar system, if Deneb were indeed to replace our own Sun, would unfortunately become quickly toast, including Uranus's moon of Titania. Despite all this speculation, however, and back in reality, Deneb is actually slowly drifting away from our solar system, and over millennia will recede out of our influence. With a proper motion of plus 1.99 kilometers per second, it does though mean it's not going anywhere too fast. For our final thought today, if by some strange quirk of physics, Deneb were to suddenly appear at around 73 billion kilometers, 488 astronomical units, or indeed 0.008 light years from us, it would achieve the status of actually being brighter than the sun in our own skies. So for perspective, our sun, 488 times closer to us than Deneb would cease to be our principal light source. The true size of giants like Deneb and their sheer power is astonishing. Deneb, the Titan star and the tail of the swan, would quickly become the brightest thing in our skies if it were to approach our solar system, even from phenomenal distances as much as 880 light years away. This beautiful white star has left its infancy on the mainstream and will likely now slowly and surely grow into one of the largest stars of all within our Milky Way galaxy. We are safe enough at where we are and Deneb is far far away from us, but for millennia to come it will remain one of the very largest and brightest stars in our sky until eventually, many millions of years from now, it will slowly dissipate back into the void. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel further, you could consider buying me a coffee and I'll link this in the description. If you have any videos or subjects that you'd like to see brought to life, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. It could just be your idea next week that shows up. Thanks to all of those of you that comment, as I really do appreciate your input. Take good care of yourselves, look after your friends and family well, and I'll see you on the next one.